Let's get serious. Habaki. All right, let's go uh, here, I guess. All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Not how he died. I pulled those logs. What happened with Pathfinder? In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role, eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited, as Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends, or...? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path-found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life. Not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack. They disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry. Fourteen months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Talk to Kandros if you haven't. He's unfortunately become the head of our military. And as soon as he realizes it, we're in the shit. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. There's also this strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. Wow, guy. Dick. You know what I just realized? Fucking the Reapers, right? How do we get out of the Milky Way, right? We have to cross dark space, which is where the Reapers are. How did how did we do that? Maybe we went like a different way, because like the Reapers were all on one side of the galaxy. All personnel, be aware of any suspicious activity. Unless I'm Security unless I'm looking too far into that. Plot holes. Plot holes. What's up? I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. 
Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know. Then my sister became a sculptor, and cousin Nyrene went pirate on Omega. Eh, uh, Nyrene. I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Remember Nyrene? Jen She's from the Omega DLC in Mass Effect 3. Grand, so gutsy I had to be part <clears throat> of You talk like you weren't she part died. of leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those Ket found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. It sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. It's rough out there. I might need backup if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. All right. Trans I'll talk to this guy. It was toxic. What if they store oxygen in porous tissue, like Quiro's rockfish? I still re You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr. Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. I'm usually out in the field, but I wouldn't mind talking shop, or lab, you know. You are always welcome. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Skill up, huh? Trans technician, please report to the Hyperion coupling Addison. Speak to the distraught Turian. I don't even know where the distraught Turian is. Is there a distraught Turian around here? This is a nightmare. It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're so it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband. He's locked up and slated for exile. For a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please. Tell Milken I love him. All right, fucking all these fucking side quests we got going on. Be aware of any suspicious activity. Security is on heightened alert. 
What's up, guy? Black hey, plus. you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. You know what they say. It's not paranoia. If someone is out to get you, yeah. Third time this week. It's getting worse. First one was small stuff. This one could have hurt bad if I'd been closer. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait, that's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me, if they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. So, uh, yep, scanning creepers, or not creepers, keepers. This is the, uh, the keeper scanning mission. Find out why. Be careful. Is this the thing I need to scan? <clears throat> oh. Ah. Pathfinder, Forgot. to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Fuck my life, dude. It's upstairs. Please be advised that Hyperion docking procedures are now complete. Alright, moving on. Docking plan? Yeah. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Alright, let's fucking go. Scan panels. Scanning panels. Hello. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Hello. Scanning. This panel has been tampered with. Send the data to Raj. Yes, Pathfinder. Thanks, friend. <laughs> All right. Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. Where she is. Alright, to the Hyperion! Onward and such. I'll just take this thing all over the damn place. Good old Citadel. Citadel side missions. Gotta love it. Sup, texture pop in, lady. Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I've never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here, I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing, and it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Patel's. A third party seems likely. 
Looks like someone is using both you and Raj to cover their tracks. They need pretty high level access for that. Still, it's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. Texture pop-ins are so bad, dude. <laughs> Alright, uh, wow. Let's go there. Let's go where the thing tells me to go. All right. Loading screen. I love loading screens. They're just the best. Totally don't take forever or anything. Fuck. All right. Oh, of course. This file is useless. Let's check another. And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Somebody working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled, but if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. Fuck my life. These are just reports, these aren't actually... Let's go scan people. Engineering update. We are working on accessing more power from the high period. What's up, guy? No news on the Turian Arc yet. Or is this militia business? Uh, never mind. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. This person is not a match. Of course he's not. Why would he be? You. This person is not a match. Engineering update. We are working on accessing more Never mind. Going this way. All non relevant repair requests are currently on hold until power coupling is complete. Alright, let's go this way. And a lot of the textures are just so bad. <laughs> Loading screens! Ugh. Inaccurate match. Oh, yeah, you, uh, you're definitely tampering with that bullshit. Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. Is that what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... I'm sorry for what happened, but setting explosives isn't the answer. 
Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people, killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. Not my call. The Nexus leaders will make that decision. That lot make a decision? That'll be the day. Sweet. Alright, I did the thing, guys. I did the mission. We got priority mission. We got that shit. Uh, missing arcs. Nexus. A murder. Alright, let's do the murder. Also see if there are any more side missions around on the Helios or whatever the fuck we are. Hyperion. Hyperion. Alright, off to operations. To operations and such. And now we're back to loading screens again. All right. What's up? Help you. Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilk and Rensis. Ah. Our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Milkun, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. <sighs> She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. I'm so sorry. That's awful. We were close. He was a stubborn son of a... I admire that about him. But I was enraged when we argued. There is a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Don't throw on the towel yet. I'll review the evidence. Maybe I can find something that'll help. That would be great. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. Alright. Let's go talk to Kandros. Hey, Kandros, what's up? Engineering report. I'm... No news on the Tyrian Ark yet. Or is this militia business? I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. Doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. That is the difference between murder and accidental death. In this case, motive plus opportunity plus eyewitness account equals murder. Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. 
As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Thanks, friendo. The Nexus versus Colonist Milken, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Milken. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... <laughs> I don't know if I want to be a dick. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked wide at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in? If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. I appreciate the information. Of course. Mm. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tian wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Well, oh, this guy. Something I can help you with? I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. I'm hoping it proves something else happened. This case has been a political nightmare. With all we've been through, the people need stability. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. Thanks, friend. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm here to serve. Investigate murder evidence. Just gonna be on my ship, I believe. So we're finally gonna make it to the ship, guys. After two hours of faffing about on the fucking Nexus, we're finally gonna make it to the fucking ship. The docking bay. Trying to go to the docking bay. There we go. Either. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. What the fuck? They call her... The Tempest. Nice. 
Nice. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Hi. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Excuse Damn me. It. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Hmm. Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. The Tempest. Nice. It is like the Normandy, except sleeker. Normandy will still be Bay, but Tempest is pretty cool too, I guess. I guess the Tempest is pretty cool. I'll set I'll settle for the Tempest. I'll also settle for loading screens. Holy shit. Holy shit. Everything state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. I... Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Joker? She just looks weird from certain angles. All right, well we finally got our we're ship, guys. We're ready to go. I'm not ready to go. Room. You can make vid calls from the central table, or just get the crew together. I want to fucking talk to people, yo. That's the bio lab. We can grow plants for food and oxygen, and keep any specimen safe. Bio lab. Some serious kill over here. Got, uh, oh, buy, sell, kiosk. Ooh. Eh. Uh, Omni Blade. 
uh, Cyclone, Cryo Ammo, Disruptor Ammo, Incendiary Ammo, Overdrive Pack, Shield Capacity, Cadmium, Nickel, Shell Filaments, Beryllium, ra uh, Raphine, Omni Gel Canister, Relament pom Polymer, there's a lot of shit. N7 Piranha, Ultra Rare Shotgun. Alright. Um. Pathfinder, check this toy. Strike Mission Team. This console reports on the militia's current Strike Team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candros for authorization to participate. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. I'm all about what's useful. Oh, this is. Especially if you grabbed anything from Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. We can craft our way through. Turn the junk we find into an advantage. Hey, with tech like this, it won't be junk for long. Not after work through. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Ah, okay. So we got research and development. Okay, so this is the R and D terminal is this one. Hey. Oh, oh this one. So research. Weapons. Huh. Milky Way, Helios, and Unknown. Cyclone, Charger, Sandstorm, that's interesting, Sidewinder, Vanquisher, I'm, the Vanquisher is Mass Effect 3, uh, N7 Valkyrie, do these like, oh, that's interesting, Falcon, Ah, the Revenant. I love the Revenant. Ah, the Hornet. That's what the Cerberus guys use in Mass Effect 3. Scorpion. Uh, that's a pistol that I believe Tally gives to you. Piranha. The Reaper Car... Uh, the Rieger Carbine. Crusader. Venom. I don't know what that is. Oh, is that the the widow? And seven valiant. Oh, there's the black widow. An Asari sword, huh? A fucking Asari sword. Nice. A Krogan fucking warhammer. And there's armor, of course. That. And seven, huh? Nice. Nice. And we've got all this shit. Holy fuck. And there's all this other shit. Holy crap. Helios Defender Chest. Ket Fusion Helmet. There's a lot of shit. I'm a little overwhelmed. And that's just the research. This is all development. I made Avenger Soul Rifle. Aw, oh, dude, the Carnifex. I love the Carnifex. Oh, I love the Incisor, too. The Incisor is great. Ah, oh, the Matic. These are all ready to build? Dude, we can get the Matic. Sure, let's get the Matic. Matic has been successfully added to your inventory. Awesome. Pistols, Carnifex, Armor, cool, alright, where does this go, I guess fucking nowhere. Hey. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream, it's perfect for any delicate technical work. Hey. Shut up, Liam Neeson. Hey. Oh my god, if you're gonna say hey every time. 
This is cool. And fall off. You cannot fall off, kick from. I can climb ladders down though. I want to make sure I do all of the things. Um. First. This is the kitchen, clearly. Got bathroom, crew quarters. Most of the crew info board. Crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. Where is my room anyway? Oh, no, this is the other room. I didn't want to be back here. This is uh something. Thanks. Oh, hey, it's Lexi. What's up? Hello, Ryder. Excuse me. I need to make sure we have everyone's medical files from the next. Never mind. Come by after launch, and we can catch up properly. All right. Seeing if there's anybody I can talk to before we launch. I'm gonna fucking cover all the bases. Securing cargo and checking everything made it on board. The bridge report's ready. I think we should just head, right? I don't think I don't think we can talk to anybody. The game's like, hey, dickhead, fucking go. Like, launch, idiot. Commence ship launch. Commence fucking go. Wait, is that my cabin? Ah, uh, fuck. That was my cabin. No, we gotta go back down. Go back down, idiot. So that was my cabin. I think that was my cabin. Right under the bridge. Yes. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Ah, yes. This is where we fuck. Sam's router is down there too. This is where we have the sex. Ah, oh, dude, clothing and armor customization. Where is that? It's over here. Ha. Long sleeve, short sleeve, or jacket. Yeah, that's 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 my only options. I don't get a I don't get a dress. I'm really mad about it. Is that it? Oh, never mind. Default tints, auto tint, custom tints, customize colors, outfit color one. I don't know what we're customizing here. Oh, is this just the? Uh, I'm trying to see what it's. So that that should be like red, right? And then you are going to be uh, pink. Nailed it. Okay. And then you also be red. Nailed it. Pattern select. Did it even do anything? Oh. We'll go with, uh, I think pattern one. There we go. Awesome. Success. Hopefully I can buy more, uh, oh, my private terminal. I love my private terminal. Great. Private terminal is the best. All right, let's fucking launch. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. Hi, guy. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship. 
but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder, running a ship. You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So, how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest. Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Sweet. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. Alright, so... Let's go to other places other than where they told me to go, because what the fuck? <laughs> 